Hello everyone and welcome. This is Christine with Powder Crafts and today I'm making another bee themed Christmas card for Scrapping for Less. This stamp set is just so adorable and it's got some very unique Christmas images um, that I just thought were really fun. So last time we used our little bee lady, this time we're using a lot of the other elements and we're going to kind of create a scene. I already have the images stamped and colored. Um, so the stamp set is the Art Impressions Christmas Bee. The paper pad is Let's Talk Bees by Scrapping for Less. And I'm also using the snow marker. And I will, um, there are links in the blog, which you can find over on the Scrapping for Less website. So um, this is going to be a fairly simple card, but it's going to have a lot of added detail to it. And one of those little pieces of added detail is using this snow pen to add some texture to my snow banks. Now this pen comes out as a liquid and you use your heat gun to heat it up and then it sets up to be like this foam sort of texture. That's probably as close as what I can um, think of to compare it to. Now, if you press down on this marker, you're going to get a little glob of, of, of this liquid that comes out, which in this case, if I'm creating a lot of snow, that's not a problem. I want it to kind of be thicker and kind of get a little bit everywhere because I want to create a the texture of snow. But if you are using it in a smaller area, maybe you just want to add a little texture to a hat or just a little bit onto a tree, you would want to um, just use the pen very lightly. And if you needed a little extra to come out, do it on a piece of scrap paper, or in this case, you know, I, I have my craft mat underneath um, and not directly on your project because it, it's very runny. So with that being said, we'll move along with the card. I have the sentiment here, which is found in that Christmas D Christmas B stamp set by Art Impressions. It says, I'll be home for Christmas. I thought it was perfect with these little bees singing Christmas carols because whenever I see that sentiment, I'll be home for Christmas, I'm basically singing the Christmas carol in my mind. So we're gonna go ahead and put this card together. I am using just some 100 pound yellow cardstock here. It's probably a piece I have received in a previous um, Scrapping for Less card kit. So I don't exactly know the color, um, but I do know that it's 100 pound. I'd love to use 100 pound or 110 pound card stocks for my card bases because they just add a little extra support. They're a little more heavy duty and to me they just seem a little bit more um, professional, I guess you could say. So I've got my one little snowbank added to my card and we're going to add the second one on with some foam tape for some dimension. Usually if I'm doing any kind of hills or grassy areas and I'm doing you know more than one layer, I will use foam tape for that for that you know top layer. So here I have my little Christmas tree and I decided I want it to also be up on some foam tape. So we're going to go ahead and put that right over there to the left because I do have my little Christmas bees and I need to make sure I have space enough for them. Now these little bees, um, their legs are definitely made to look like they're flying. However, I have another image that I want to be like flying through the air. So I just kind of tuck them down a little bit um, because if I put them up there, I wouldn't really have a place to put these other images. This little bee carrying this ornament is super, super cute. And I was kind of wanted to make it like he was really pulling hard to drag it towards that Christmas tree to decorate that. So up in this corner, I'm adding just a little beehive because I don't really have anything else to go up there. And I, I didn't want it to have this like huge, you know, black space. This extra little bee is from this like bee garland. It's in the stamp set. But when I Cut it out with my scan and cut for whatever reason this last bee just the scan and cut just cut just the bee away from like the garland piece. And as it is, when I cut this out with a scan and cut, I had to draw lines around it because my scan and cut would just wouldn't pick it up. But because he kind of was a little 
on his own away from the garland, I thought it would be fun to just kind of have him hanging out like he wants to help decorate the Christmas tree. Now, all these images were kind of sitting around already colored, so I had some extra time to go ahead and really add some detail and sparkle to this card. So I do have this gold gel pen, which I used for the top of the ornament that the bee is carrying. I'm adding some Wink of Stella to certain parts of the card that I know I'm not, I want some sparkle and shine, but I know I'm not gonna be using some Nouveau Drops or um, Stickles. Now, I, I kind of bring out both because both kind of have a different look to it. Now, Nouveau Drops, in my experience, hold their shape better than stickles. Um, stickles, when they kind of dry, to me, they kind of dry a little bit flat. And the Nouveau Drops have a lot more dimension to them when they dry. I don't know if that makes any sense, but to anyone who's used both, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So I, I don't tend to use stickles a lot. I really love the Nouveau Drops. And in this case, I am using a lot of Nouveau Drops. I'm using it on the wings of the bees. I used a clear Nouveau drop just to give a little dimension. I'm using this white blizzard that's kind of a glitter. It's a glitter Nouveau drop for the rims of their hats, the little pom-poms on their hats. Um, just adds a little bit of extra sparkle. I used a yellow glitter Nouveau drop for the tree topper. Also to give that a little extra, you know, something. Now, I do pull out the stickles for this Christmas tree. I do love the way that the red stickles um, are for, like, ornaments. So, like I said, like, there are certain things that I, I use um, stickles for only in things that I like to use Nouveau Drops for. I guess I, I think I'm making too much of a big deal about that. Anyway, um, we're grabbing the red stickles for the ornaments on this tree. I just thought it would work out really well. And we'll do some close-ups so you can see all the extra dimension that I put on this tree, or on this card, I'm sorry, not just the tree, but the entire card. We'll get right in and it, I will back it up a little bit, but I really wanted you to be able to see, like you can see the Wink of Stella on the ornament um, down here. With the shine, you can kind of see where I put the Nouveau drops on the bees' hats and wings and what the tree looks like with all its little decorations. So thank you so very much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more and you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. But until next time, everybody, thank you so much again. Have a great day. Bye.